Hey guys, Brendan here with SlingMods.com and today we have our JBL Bluetooth audio system for the Can-Am Riker. Let's face it folks, anyone that owns a bike will tell you firsthand that there's really nothing better than hitting the open road while listening to your favorite tunes. So we partnered up with Spider Extras and JBL to bring you guys this, our weatherproof 40 watt Bluetooth audio system that features an integrated cell phone docking station with both a 12 volt cigarette style charge port and dual 2.1 USB charge ports. This combo allows you to not only enjoy your tunes while cruising, but also allows devices to charge while you're riding and keeps your phone or GPS in your line of sight so you can keep your eyes on the road where they should be. Today, we're gonna walk you through the installation of how to install your audio system on your Can-Am Riker. So let's get started. Start by removing these two bolts from the left hand side of your handlebar mount. Then add the two spacers from the kit. Insert the two bolts through the left hand side docking station arm before sliding them into the spacers and tightening them down to the handlebar mount. And then repeat for the other side. Remove the two bolts from the right hand side bar mount. Add the two spacers. Insert the new bolts into the docking station arm before sliding them into the spacers and tightening them down to the handlebar mount. Now slide open your gas door and remove these two push pins and then pop open your frunk and remove these other two push pins. Then remove your side panel. Now run all your wires down through the opening for your handlebars, out the left hand side opening, and down to your fuse block and battery. And be sure to use the zip ties to tie off any loose wires up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Next, you can pop open your fuse block and remove this yellow 20 amp fuse, as well as these three fuses located on the top of your fuse block cover. Now place a mark on the opposite corner of those fuses, approximately half an inch up and in, and using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill a hole at that mark. Then take the new fuse holder harness and slide the end of the red wire into that hole from the inside out. Now take that same yellow 20 amp fuse and insert it into the empty slot on the new fuse holder and then slide the new fuse holder into the same slot we removed the yellow 20 amp fuse from earlier and reattach your fuse block cover. Even though the wire hole we drilled on the side of the fuse block is almost the same diameter as the wire poking through it, we do recommend applying some silicone around the outside of the wire here to ensure that your fuse block remains a watertight environment. Next, you can take your new quick disconnect harness and connect the single red wire with the blue buck connector to the red wire that we now have sticking out of your fuse block. Then take the black wire with the red buck connector from your quick disconnect harness and attach it to the black wire coming from the docking station harness, followed by the other red wire from the quick disconnect to the red wire from the docking station. Now be sure to zip tie any excess wires up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Then unscrew the negative terminal from your battery. Attach the two remaining black ground wires. And then reinstall the negative terminal to your battery. Before next removing the red positive terminal from your battery and adding the final red positive wire from your speakers and then reattach that positive terminal back to your battery.
And then finally, reinstall your hood cover. And then side panel with push pins. Now that your new Riker Bluetooth audio system is installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is pair up the JBL speakers with your smartphone. Then once your phone's paired, you'll now have the ability to stream all your favorite music from your phone through your new speakers via Bluetooth. One of your JBL speakers will feature push button controls to allow you to adjust your volume and pause your music if needed, and features yet another USB charge port. Your phone will automatically connect every time your Bluetooth speakers are powered on and will disconnect when powered off. JBL has even integrated an auto shutoff feature that when you get to your destination and forget to turn off your speakers, they'll automatically power off after a few minutes so that you don't come out to a dead battery. And one more thing, the JBL speakers have an IPX5 water rating and the charge ports feature rubber covers to make this whole system ready and able for wet conditions. Self rocking out to your favorite track, charging your smartphone, and bring your phone's GPS front and centers on your list of to-dos, then head on over to slingmods.com today and grab a JBL audio system for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Riker. I'm Brandon signing out. We'll see you on the road.